<laughs> I don't know. It sounds crowded, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a lot of things to do for sure. Hey, it was just nice to get a little bit of sunshine it out was. there today, right? Yeah. After having the kind of gloomy skies and the rain and look at what the rain has done to some of the streams and creeks. This is behind the Elkin Library. Now we're going to have some changes this week, and one of which is very little rain in the forecast. Also, it is back to normal as far as temperatures go. So no teens and no temps that are close to 70 degrees. We do have a quick hitting rain snow weather maker that comes in for the middle part of the week, and it looks like it may be dry for next weekend. Far from it this past weekend where we had a record rainfall set yesterday at 1.81 inches, breaking the old record from 1998 of just over an inch and a half. Now this is rainfall today where we saw close to an inch from Forsyth County up toward the Virginia border. And then you add to that yesterday's rainfall totals and easily folks seeing one to three inches of rain from this weather system. And in some cases closer to four, it has now shifted its focus all the way up the coast and behind it. We're going to get kind of waves here. Cold air definitely going to be rushing in. We still have some rain that's kind of flowing through the Dan River, so some minor flooding through early week. No real precipitation on the map. We really haven't seen a whole lot of snow yet over our mountains, but we do have a winter weather advisory out through noon tomorrow from Grayson County down through Ash and Watauga County. So some light amounts of snow are possible, and with the wind, visibilities could be reduced with that snow blowing around. We're also talking about slippery travel, and we're not looking for a whole lot, but we will see a light coating of snow in many communities through early tomorrow. Also have that wind advisory, so a concern for some wind gusts at 30 to 50 miles an hour. That's also through lunchtime tomorrow. Those gusty winds could down some trees. Remember, we've got real saturated ground, so some of those trees are going to be a little bit weaker. We could have some isolated power outages. Right now, we've got some wind gusts that are anywhere between 20 to 30 to even 45 miles an hour over the last hour in some of our mountain communities. The sustained winds that are about 20 to 30 from the foothills into the mountains. That makes it cold, right? Our wind chill values down in the low 20s in the mountains with temperatures that are hovering pretty close to freezing. We're 42 in Pilot and we've got 41 at Mount Airy. We've also got some low 40s showing across the Piedmont Triad, even upper 30s where High Point is at 39. The wind is not as strong and definitely below advisory criteria for the Piedmont Triad, but it's still going to be brisk into the day tomorrow. I do think the snow showers will wind down, shut down early tomorrow morning. We're actually going to have a few clouds around to start the day, but they will thin out, especially after lunchtime. I'm anticipating a lot of blue sky across the area, but again, it's going to be quite chilly. We've got a high temperature of 52, which doesn't sound too bad. When you factor in that northwest wind at 10 to 25 miles an hour, it's going to feel like it's in the 30s and 40s for most of the day if you do have to be out in it. For the foothills, windy to start. Remember, those winds will come down some in the afternoon. You've got a high of 50 degrees. Definitely going to be a wind chill component tomorrow, too. Feels like it's in the 30s and 40s. For the mountains, those wind chill values likely going to be in the low 20s in the morning, maybe a few flurries, then up to about 39 for tomorrow afternoon. That next weather system I was telling you about for the middle part of the week is a little clipper here. It's setting up over Canada. It's going to drop down real quick. So on Tuesday, we start off with freezing temperatures. We have clouds that increase, and then this Real quick shot of moisture here. Some of it could be snow in the mountains and up toward the Virginia border. That's overnight Tuesday into early Wednesday, and then that moves off to the east, and we will dry out. And right now, it looks like it's going to stay dry through Thursday, Friday, into Saturday and Sunday. Those temps are real close to normal around 50 in the afternoon and close to freezing in the morning.